Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Ajax tutorial, and uh, actually I should say welcome back to myself because I have been gone for two months. My computer, well I have a couple computers, but the one that I make tutorials on, it has been busted, my video card got messed up. So I haven't made an Ajax tutorial in about two months, so now I'm back here, and uh, I figured that instead of just jumping right back in, what I can do is I actually want to not only teach you guys the next topic, but I want to kind of um, rewrite the entire Ajax program, not only so I can refresh my own brain, but also anyone who was following along. So I usually have the HTML file all set to go, and also um, you know a little bit of the JavaScript file, but now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take about... 40 seconds and rewrite the entire HTML file and also talk you guys through the new topic that I'm going to be teaching in this little mini program and that is working more in depth with XML structures. So after I teach this you guys are going to have a better understanding of not only all the states, not only how an entire Ajax program works, but the last missing piece which is you know the X in the Ajax XML structures. So of course the first thing we need to do is make an HTML file and doc type HTML make that simple no weird x HTML crap HTML HTML head head buddy buddy alright so now go ahead and add the head and I'm way too lazy as usual type all that now in the head of course we're only going to be linking to our JavaScript file so script javascript and for the source of course we have to call it tuna dot javascript and now let me just go ahead and end that script tag alright so our head is complete again like I said the only thing that we need to do in the head is link to the javascript file the body is going to be a little bit different body body now in the body the first thing I want to do before I start adding all the uh, different tags and stuff is I want to put on load what the heck notepad plus plus Maybe my computer is still messed up alright so on load what we want to do is we want to call a specific JavaScript function now we'll just call this process and eventually whenever we're working with our uh, JavaScript file we'll have to build that so this program is basically again like I said what I want to do is talk to you guys more in depth about the XML structure so of course we're going to be creating an XML file manually and we'll just have it um like we'll say that we're a company and we're gonna have it list our employees so here is a list of I'll just write people Here's a list of people, dot, 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 ooh, suspenseful. Now add a couple break tags, just to make it all nice and neat. Break, break. And now, whenever you want to echo them out, or print them out, whatever it's called, the D. I believe that we've been calling our div the D. So basically, what we have right here is pretty much the template of the very beginning of an Ajax program. We have the HTML document and uh, the head and I think that this is all good to go. So now before I start with the JavaScript file, let's go ahead and create the XML file. So file, new, okay now let me just go ahead and save this as, let's just go ahead and save it as tuna.xml. So tuna.xml alright now the first thing we need to do is all the proper housekeeping stuff so our browser doesn't get mad at us so XML 